Welcome back to another video editing tutorial using the free software Caden Live. In this video, I'm just going to go through and demonstrate some of the artistic video effects that you can apply to video footage or to images. So to get started, I'm just going to uh, open a couple clips. We're going to do this one of the cyclist here. And we're also going to just do a regular uh, image. So we'll do, and I'll just drag and drop that one in. I think it's under my pictures. Yeah, so we'll do this image here with the fish. Okay, great. So I'm just going to drag in, first of all, my video footage here, and then drag in this image, which will just come in by default. for It'll play for five seconds, this video will, and then it'll just go be the end of the video. So I can zoom in on my timeline to get a little bit better view here, or I can just click this button here. If we hover over, hover over it, it says Fit Zoom to Project, and I'll just kind of zoom it so we can kind of see our project nice like that. And then what I want to do is get to the effects. So we've got transitions tab down here. We have effects. You might need to click here. Yours might be over in a different location. But regardless, we just want to go into effects and then bring down this tab for artistic. Click that little triangle at the side of artistic, and it brings down all these different um, options. We can also just type in and search like this dust. If we want to find dust, we just type in dust, and it'll bring up just that one. So we can search through for any uh, effect by just using the search bar. So let's just uh, let's just start. We have this uh, three-level threshold. The best thing you can do is just t just test all these. So we can left-click and drag and drop it over top of the video footage, and we see what it does. And then we have options for it over here. But this one, there's not a whole lot of options. We can disable it basically or enable it, but that's about it. Um, we have this one here, binarize. So this turns everything binary based on the color of the pixel, so we can have to turn it basically black and white based off of the lightness of the pixel. So that's kind of cool, but I'm going to delete it. Um, another way we can add the effects too is just going down to the video clip in the timeline and right click and go to add effect. And then we, we can just go to whichever one we want. And right now we're doing artistic, so we can go to artistic and do this next one. Let's just try cartoon. And it creates kind of a cartoony look. And again, we have options for, for how we want to adjust this here. So we can kind of adjust it and make it look a little bit different depending on how we adjust uh, up here. Um, I'll do this charcoal. We'll drag and drop into here. That's what charcoal looks like. I'm not, now I'm going to move forward on my playhead to this picture so we can apply this next one, dither. We'll apply it to this picture here. And then again, we just have different levels uh, or different adjustments we can make to change the way the effect looks on this picture. Uh, we can apply multiple too. If we want to do this dither and the dust at the same time, we just apply it over top and then it changes. That one we couldn't really tell, but if we did like this binary that we did earlier, it'll make it look really extreme different. Uh, I'm going to delete both these. So to delete the effect, I'm just going up and clicking on this red garbage can in the uh, top right of the kind of the project window or the settings window for the properties. Uh, what else? We got emboss. But the cool thing is, oh, I should show you too. So it's applying it to the video. It might take a little bit of time to process, but it actually we can play the video. That's kind of the cool thing about these effects is that it applies it to the whole video, which is pretty cool. Um, like this one, we have old film. So it's going to make it look like an old film. And I think it shakes a little bit and flashes maybe. Yeah. So that's how it does that. And we can combine old film with grain, I think. And also with, there's this one, uh, vignette, 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 how do you say this word? And then we can also do, there's a line one I'm, I saw somewhere I was doing, oh yeah, scratch lines. So with all these together, it'll create a really um, interesting look for like old film. So we got the lines, these vertical lines appearing. We have like, a, a yeah, anyway. I, I just want to show that you can apply multiple effects over top of each other to create kind of a cool looking thing. And you notice it's kind of going slow. It's a little bit not up to full speed. That's because it's processing all of these effects. When we actually render it out, when we click render and choose a place to save on our computer, uh, it won't be like that. It'll be just a normal, nice, smooth video. Uh, so yeah, I'm not going to show any, any more of those, but uh, that's basically it. Go through and play with all these and get familiar with how they work because yeah they provide some pretty cool uh, they can provide some pretty cool effects on your uh, video and pictures that you're using in Caden Life. Hopefully you found this video informative. 
go ahead and like and subscribe, comment below. I'd love to hear your feedback, and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.